Hey, what's up, my little time to tell us? How you doing today? Well, if you are Monique Samuels, you are the same stuck we, we remember from Real Housewives of Potomac. Listen, love or hate Monique, can we all agree she is a stunt queen? And can we all agree she just pulled the mother of stunts to get some eyes on her show, Love and Marriage DC? The real question is, was it worth it? And was Ashley in on it? Or did she just burn another bridge? Y'all sit down and let's have a talk because as so many of you guys like to point out, Monique was on her live yesterday talking about where are those rumors of divorce coming from? Oh my, y'all don't believe it. They're attacking black love. Listen, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> let me tell y'all something. First of all, let's talk about those divorce rumors and where they came from. They came from People Magazine. Now listen, right? You know I love a good gossip and I love a good gag, but let me tell you something about People Magazine and Page Six. They are an outlet for bona fide sources, usually people's PR teams, to get the narrative they want out. People Magazine does not run he said, she said, right? The sources are usually from directly from their PR or things they want leaked. Same with page six. Now, gossip is gossip. That's true. But I'm telling y'all, when's the last time People Magazine ran something that was false? I'm being serious. When's the last time that People Magazine ran something that wasn't approved from one of the people's camps that was in the story? Think about this, y'all. So People Magazine ran a story about Monique and Chris getting separated and moving toward divorce. Okay, keep that in your mind. Let's wait for the other shoe to drop. Ashley was actually one of the sources. Now, before y'all say, oh my God, what you talking about? Ashley didn't say that. You guys, I got the video. Let's get into this video to hear what Ashley had to say. And then meet me after the jump, because I think I put it together that this was a stuck between antic. Last time Real Housewives of Potomac um, uh, premiered without Monique, a bird died. This time, her marriage died. But like all things, oh, that's not what happened. Monique, I don't understand the stunt queen actors. I know that they need eyes on DC. What's what's uh, even more true, TV Deets, even though Monique was like, I don't know where these rumors are coming from. TV Deets then put out a story, or at least a tweet, saying that her marriage is going to be discussed on season two of Love and Marriage DC. Seems pretty, you know what? Let's get into what Ashley said. Then meet me after the jump. Hit that like and subscribe button too. Let's go, y'all. Here we go. She could have been getting a new hairstyle. Oh, no. Life changes. How is she doing? She seems to be good. They're just taking a break. Okay. Yeah. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Okay. Anything so, if you guys don't know, it was BravoCon. Ashley was the one that said during, this is before the story broke on people. She said on a panel that Monique told her that her and Chris were separating, divorcing, ah, 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 this, that, and the third, right? The People Magazine article came out with an amazing amount of detail. If you read the People Magazine article, they said they reached out to Monique and Chris for comment. However, like any good journalist, When you reach out for people for comment and they don't comment, you always put in an article. We reached out to comment and they were not available or they declined to comment. Or at the time the story was published, they did not comment. That's the basics for journalistic integrity. You notice how they say they reached out, but there was no mention about whether they comment, decline comment. And let me tell you something. You don't just read stuff on red. A journalist has to say that they reached out and they also have to tell you whether they commented didn't comment, declined to comment, or didn't even answer their calls, right? Fine, you got that. Then after that story ran, and then Monique eventually did her stunt queen answers about, anyway, Chris, what you got to say? And Chris is like, with his shark t- shark tails face, right? Baby shark, anyway, it was like, yeah, you, you know, by Millie Eve. And those two stunt queens sat there and chuckled to whatever. Now listen, are Monique and Chris probably separating or divorcing? Yeah, I believe when Monique gets tired of them because Chris is led around like a puppy on a leash by Monique. And ain't nothing wrong with that. Get it how you live it, right? Get it how you live it. But what I am saying is this looks like to be a stunt queen antic because 
She needs publicity for Love and Marriage Huntsville. And every time Potomac premieres, Love and Marriage Huntsville comes on. Now let's get into the fact of whether Ashley knew. Let's think about this for a second, right? Ashley's storyline is that her and Michael have separated. However, well, first she said they were divorcing. Then you saw on the walk that she said, well, they're separating. You guys, if you don't know my opinion on what's going on with Ashley and Michael, this is a cover for them to have an open marriage. Ashley thinks that she found a cheat code in order to her still have access to not only Michael's money, right? But also to uh, being Mrs. Michael Darby. Let me tell you something. Ashley delights in being Mrs. Michael Darby. Ashley is proud to be Mrs. Michael Darby. Every scene when she's clapping back at someone, she's Mrs. Michael Darby. My husband used to own the Waldorf. My dad, my husband has businesses. She delights in being Mrs. Michael Darby. She doesn't want to give up that access. A Ashley acts like she is dating, like she is married to Obama. That's how deep it goes with her. Ashley is also the ultimate pick me, right? I don't know why everybody thinks that Ashley's getting to the bag when Ashley is married in the D DMV area and has not been married to 10 years. 10 years is the magic mark in California. In the DMV area, they are not as generous as states of California. What's more, as I pointed out, Ashley came to Michael after he built all his money. There is not a judge on the earth that is going to give Ashley a percentage of any earnings Michael made in his how old is he? A thousand and three? In his thousand and three years of life, there's not any judge that is going to give Ashley access to that money. She only has access to money that they built up while they were together in marriage. What's more, they have not uh, entered that 10 year mark. What's even more, she said that she hasn't gotten a divorce lawyer. You need a divorce lawyer because even if you are eligible for 50%, that 50% is not automatic like it is in California. You have to hire a lawyer to fight for any penny, every penny. Look at Sharice. Look at Cha-Cha. She was in, she was literally in the dirt with Eddie building. I'm going somewhere with this. Hold on. I'm just going to show this how it goes with money. She was literally in the dirt with Eddie building everything he had, right? While he was building the empire, she was taken away. She deserved 50%. They were married for how many years? And get this, she still had to pay half a million for divorce lawyers to come in and start swinging weight around to get what she deserved. And what does this have to do with Monique? One, right? Monique does have three kids, good for you. But I believe you came to Chris after he built his fortune. Monique just got to the 10 year mark, however, that 10 years, Monique has to fight for that. But let's look at actually what's really going on. Ashley has a fake separation and divorce storyline. I'm calling it. I don't think they're ever going to get divorced until Michael wants to leave her. Ashley thinks she's found the cheat code. She's the ultimate pick me for Michael. This is not going to end well. Y'all can keep clapping. I'm just telling y'all from a divorce point of view, Ashley is paying this all wrong. And whatever money she's going to get, she is cutting herself in half or a quarter playing these stupid games. Ashley has a fake marriage and divorce storyline. Now Giselle's on to her when she looked at Ashley and said, I think you're lying to me. And Ashley was like, <laughs> right? Trying to figure out what was going on. I believe Monique and Ashley are still friends. Ashley told her about the storyline and Monique decided she's going to do a fake separation and divorce storyline to get ratings for Love and Marriage uh, DC. The only thing is, does anybody really care about Monique's relationship? Because to me, and this isn't anything against Momo, I just think that the other couple stories are a lot, a, a lot more compelling. Now, so we have all that. Now let's look at how these two, how two, two stunt queens, Monique and Chris, work this out, right? Little scammers. And let's look at how Ashley might have played a tone into it. Ashley and Monique are cool. Ashley would not have released this in BravoCon unless she was doing Monique a favor. As much as Monique has her fans, can we admit that the vast majority of people at BravoCon did not care about Monique? was not inquiring what Monique was doing. I know Andy asked the question, but Ashley didn't need to offer that up. She got her own drama. There's Wendy, there's Mia, there's Candace, there's Giselle, there's Robin. There's so much drama on the show in Ashley's own life and on the show. She did not have to offer that up. 
as a way to get ratings or even get interest on the panel. The fact that she okayed that and she's such good friends. And then after that story broke and Monique tried to walk it back, the fact that Ashley still said, oh, no, 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 no. Like she told me they were definitely separated. Let's you know that they hatched it up. The fact that Monique had a clap back so quick and the fact that she's running with it again, people don't doesn't run BS. Monique pulled another stunt queen acted. It worked. It worked. I'm not going to fault her, but that's the thing about when you go, especially with big sources like people and you run that stuff, Ashley will always be game. Maybe because there's a video that she owes you for. I don't know. I don't know. Security finish. I don't know. The streets talk. But what I am saying is how many bridges you going to burn because you got to sit there and burn everything you can to create some type of heat and fire to watch your show Y'all, listen, and uh, here's the thing. It's Monique's right. She was on Real Housewives of Potomac. We know R Bravo will use, abuse, throw you away and never bring you back. Use that show for everything it's worth, girl, right? But let's call a spade a spade. Anyway, my little tattletales, let me know what you didn't think in the comments and I will talk to you later. Bye.